I teased about a uh, a quarterback that maybe this guy, according to you know to one draft analyst, maybe this this guy could have the best career of any quarterback in the twenty twenty three draft class. And the reason I mention him is because he does have some ties to the Cowboys, and it is my guy Hendon Hooker from Tennessee. And this comes from my buddy Daniel Jeremiah, and he said this. He believes that Hendon Hooker is kind of an under-the-radar type of a passer. And Jeremiah didn't have him in his initial top 50 and then put him into the top 50. And I'll tell you what happened with Daniel Jeremiah. He ended up talking to some scouts around the league. And I don't I don't mean to say any disrespect to, Jan, to Daniel, but when his initial list came out, I'm sure some guys are like, why didn't you have Hendon Hooker into this thing? Why didn't you have him as one of these guys that why you don't like him as a quarterback? And I'm sure Daniel had to go back and do some work on him in order to, you know, to convince himself. Well, that to convince he's him, maybe, maybe th- this time around, sometimes you miss these guys. I mean, when I'm on the draft show with, with Zach or, you know, or Aisha Morrison or, or Bobby, anybody, and I'm, and I get stuck on a player, I'll ask. I mean, I get stuck. I get stuck on players. I'm like, Hey man, Zach, what did you see? You know, and sometimes you do it. You don't try to have it to influence you, but did you miss something on somebody? And maybe Daniel Jeremiah missed this guy with Hendon Hooker, but he says that Hooker has outstanding field vision, which I totally agree. Zach, you've seen the player too. Yeah. Feel free to chime in. He makes quick decisions. This is something we talked about with the Cowboys. What do they want to do? Get the ball out quicker. Mm -hmm. Get the ball out. So, you know, maybe that's something. If a guy's making quick decisions, Delivers the ball in a position where his receivers can easily run after the catch. Yep. There's another thing right there. If you're starting to think about what you could get in the West Coast offense, you know, that's what they're going to have to work with with Dak. Being accurate on the slants, the end cuts, those types of throws. Jeremiah went on to say he doesn't have a powerful arm, but he can make all the necessary throws. He He went downfield a lot. Yeah, he throws. Here we go. Throws a beautiful deep ball. He does. He has athletic ability to extend the play. He's very efficient on design quarterback runs. His age of 25 is a concern for some teams. Okay, let's circle back to yesterday, one of the segments we did, the Brock Purdy effect, right? Mm -hmm. When you start to talk about quarterbacks that play a lot of snaps, older guys. I think we're going to start to see older guys in, in the next couple of drafts just because of what we went through with the pandemic and the NCAA allowing quarter or players to stay an extra year. Yes. So you have some fifth year guys that are six year guys right now. Mm-hmm. So they're like a seventh year guy. Well, he's he's a, yeah he's a, but he was he transferred from Virginia Tech is where he did. He says overall though I see Hooker as a quality starting quarterback who wouldn't be shocked if he has the best career of any passer in this year's class and. This guy threw for 3,135 yards, 27 touchdowns, two interceptions in 2022 while leading the Vols offense that averaged uh, uh, NCAA best 47.3 points a game, 538 yards per game. Many draft experts predict Hooker, who's working his way back from, he tore his ACL in uh, in a game against uh, South South Carolina Carolina, on November 19th. For many scouts, the combine it, you know provided that first look at him since the surgery. We've seen what the combine he has gotten a clean bill of health from uh, uh from the doctors. Towards ACL, right? He did. Tell, he did. Did. How high would you have to pick him? I, I think he's going day two. I I feel like to me, yeah, I think day two. The the, the I was asking some scouts, one of my uh, gang of seven guys. I go, hey, Hendon Hooker, more of a two or a three. And he goes, listen, he goes, uh, it's more of a two or a three mm-hmm. is really, really what he is. But I, I just want to say, I just want to bring him up. And I think Daniel's got him right. I think he's got him right the way he thumbnailed him. But like I said, he's been in talks with Carolina, Dallas, the Raiders, the Saints, and the Giants. All these teams have been extensive talks with him. Mm. So keep an eye on Hendon Hooker. They've got those extra compensatory. Maybe the team, maybe somebody will say you get to the fourth round. Maybe he gets through two and three and then gets through and you're looking at him in the fourth round. Quick question. Would you guys rather use the second round pick on Hendon Hooker or DeAndre Hopkins? 
I would, Hopkins. I'd take Hopkins. Hopkins is going to help you right now. Yeah, I'll take Hopkins. I love Hooker. I have Hooker on my board in the third round mm. is where I have him. Quarterback five? I, he's my – He's my. let me look real quick. I want to make sure that I have him right as far as where he would go. Uh, yeah, you got me there because I got to – Let me. Yeah, let me no, you're up. right because I'm with you. I mean, I have him right around there. I've got him at my fifth-rated quarterback right behind Anthony Richardson. Okay, we'll yeah, get – Yeah, he'd be fourth. He would be the fourth quarterback Fourth there. on Brian's yeah, list. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah.